What is AI? AI, at its simplest, is a branch of computer programming whereby a computer is designed to carry out a task such as predict the weather tomorrow, whether it's going to rain, but without being told how to do so. This ability for AI to self-learn is what makes it so profoundly significant today. So how does this work? Well, we start by feeding huge amounts of data into the computer that's designed for AI. So let's go back to how the AI can learn how to predict the weather. By using a process of trial and error, the computer actually creates its own understanding of what actually affects the weather. This understanding that the computer comes up with, we actually call a formula or algorithm. And as we continue to feed more and more data into the computer, the computer does more and more iterations of trial and error, and its algorithm and formula and its understanding of what affects the weather actually gets smarter. This process is very similar to the way our own brains work, hence the term and the use of neural networks. Um, and this self-learning that the machine does is called machine learning. So once the computer has actually generated its formula, we can then use this to make very, very fast calculations and predictions, often in real time. The types of data we feed into the computer determines its capabilities. One type of data is called structured data. Structured data is when we, any data that we can actually fit on a spreadsheet. So information such as, in terms of the weather, time and date, location, rainfall, temperature, this type of data is also what we humans would actually also use to determine what the weather is, and so does the computer. In general, the more data we feed into the computer, the more accurate its predictions can become. The other type of data, unstructured data, is the type of data that doesn't fit in a spreadsheet, such as photographs. So imagine looking up at the sky, seeing the types and shapes of clouds, the colors, maybe the heights. So to process data like photos, we use a method called deep learning. So when we combine deep learning with real-time calculations, this enables technologies such as self-driving cars. In summary, AI is self-learning, incredibly fast, and highly accurate. Now, because AI computers are self-learning, then the cost of creating programs and the time to create them is much lower. So hence, companies, smaller companies, are able to do things that only large companies could do before. So for example, uh, in business, if to, to predict the type of stock I should buy, how much of the merchandise I should actually stock, how to incentivize my staff, how to market the products, how to price them, how to target the correct customer base. These are things that used to use a lot of human expertise, a lot of time and a lot of effort. And now when it's actually almost automated, this enables companies to do much more with a lot less. Now, because AI can generate predictions so quickly, it enables a new breed of types of, of capabilities and technologies. So for example, things like unmanned stores, drone deliveries, smart mirrors. These are all automated ways that we can now use in our stores that we couldn't do before. Now, the problem is, is that these capabilities that AI gives us, our competitors also have. So these things that we traditionally relied on before for our capabilities and success, AI is disrupting these. So what can we do about all this? Well, if AI is now affordable, accessible, ubiquitous, then the trick, therefore, would be to move faster than your competitors. To be honest, the challenge that I see is that companies are still resistant to these changes, but because it's now so straightforward to start collecting your data, using your data and creating algorithms, then start using AI.